Allah has promised to those among you who believe and do good works that He will surely make them successors in the earth. <laughs> نظریں اٹھا کے اپنی دیکھو ذرا خدا را کے چاند اور سورج کرتے ہیں کیا اشارہ نظریں اٹھا کے اپنی دیکھو ذرا خدا را کے چاند اور سورج کرتے ہیں کیا اشارہ جس کے تھے منتظر وہ شہکار آ گیا ہے وہ گلزار رش کے گلزار آ گیا ہے جس کے تھے منتظر وہ شہکار آ گیا ہے وہ گل گلزار رش کے گلزار آ گیا ہے دین محمد کا غم خوار آ گیا ہے بھومی رکار وانے ابرار آ گیا ہے نظریں اٹھا کے اپنی پرومیس ریفورما پرومیس مسائیہ Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Ahmad His glorious advent came as a fulfillment and in the light of the prophecy of the Savior of all mankind, the seal of all the prophets, Hazrat Muhammad Mustafa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. From here on began a series of wondrous events, astounding signs both natural and spiritual attested to the purity and the truth of the promised Messiah. The world saw through the promised Messiah Alaihissalam many unfettered and undisputable signs that showed the bounties of a living and merciful God. Ahmadiyyat rose to an eminence that spoke of the days of Islam last seen in the time of the Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. There are countless signs, numerous fulfilled prophecies that show the truth and divinity of the promised Messiah Alaihissalam. Today, however, we will look at one of these signs that strongly and undeniably attest to this truth, the institution of Khilafat. It is a known fact that spiritual divine revolution at any time or place is subject to the presence of beings of a higher spiritual station. The presence of a Khalifa inspires and brings about countless wonders. Who would have thought that a barren and infertile land of Rabwa would one day become a bustling, living, green haven of spirituality? It was solely due to the divine guidance and patronage of Hazrat Khalifatul Masih II, Razi Allah Ta'ala Anho. These blessings will carry on, unendingly, across the world and the land of Canada being no exception to this bliss. In its experience of Khilafat e Ahmadiyya, Canada has experienced numerous successes and bounties. Following are the glorious periods of Khilafat e Aval and Sanya. Canada beheld the presence of Khilafat physically when Hazrat Khalifat al Masih al Salis Ramal al Dala graced this land with his presence. Since then, Canada has basked in the blessings of every Khilafat. You are about to view some precious and invaluable glimpses of the visits of Khulifai Ahmadiyyad to Canada. In August 1976, Hazrat Khalifatul Masih Salas Ramallah Ta'ala came to Canada first time. That was also the first time in North America. Uh, there was a tremendous joy and happiness. At the same time, we could realize that how the progress and development of the Jamaat has started. And that was the beginning of a blessing of Khilafat in Canada, physically. The 
representative of the CBC had interview with Hazur. That interview was televised on CBC news in the evening. That was the first time that uh, Khalifa of the time was aired on North American television. Uh, in the evening we had the welcome address which was presented to Huzur. In that a request was made that the Mishri should be appointed for Canada because at that time we did not have any missionary. And uh, Hazur graciously uh, accepted that. And his, in his response, uh, he made it clear for the members of the Jamaat that we have a great responsibility in representing the Jamaat outside Pakistan. We are ambassadors of the Jamaat. Each and everybody has a duty to be fulfilled. It was a very enthusiastic speech by Hazur and all the members were moved. Each and every member had the opportunity to meet the Hazur. Uh, all the kids were happy and uh, they, 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 they had shake hand, they played with Hazur. All the elderly people uh, discussed their problems, had a SEP meeting with Hazur. And, uh, there were four or five functions of the Jamaat as well, in which all the members were gathered together. I think that was the first year when the Seer Tower was open and there was huge lineup. It was very difficult to get the ticket and uh, but uh, we requested the Ministry of Tourism and they made a special arrangement and the lift was reserved uh, even on the restaurant. The, the lunch was given by the Ministry. This was the first time that uh, a reception and VIP dinner was uh, arranged by the Jamaat. And this was the first exposure for the uh, of the Jamaat, wherein the many dignitaries, member of uh, parliament, member of provincial parliament, doctors, professors, counselors attended uh, that dinner. Some of the impression given by the guest, even from uh, from London, uh, I remember. Imam Bashir Sahib, he said, this is marvelous, the Kanda Jamaat has arranged this thing. We have never seen such thing before. Uh, it, was, it, it, it was a very good reception as far as Jamaat at that time was concerned. Hazur gave the idea that you should open up your horizon, look for the big place, don't go for the smaller place, look for the future where you can have further development, where your children can play, where you can have your own park, where you can jog, where you can have fruit trees and the children can pick fruit trees from that park for the children. All those ideas were given by Hazur at that time. That uh, the main uh, central point was don't go for a small place, go for a bigger place. Niagara Falls, as you all know, is 
one of the wonders of the world aaj har ghar and then uh, in niagara the whole tour was conducted by the uh, representative from the ministry of tourism is one of the wonder of the world it's a beautiful place azur enjoyed it begum sahib i liked it very much too after the sightseeing a barbecue was arranged in the park uh, which is called uh, niagara on the lake so it was sort of picnic as well that was before huzur uh, departure one of the incidents i remember Huzur was discussing about photography that very few people know that uh, he knows very well about photography he said that uh, even some object is ugly he can take the picture from such an angle the same object would look beautiful i said huzur i have one request and he said what is that i said please take my picture as well <laughs> and after listening that azur and begum saba enjoyed it very much and they laughed quite a bit we had uh, more than half a day there the barbecue and then we offered prayers and after the prayers uh, we went to buffalo from where azur took a plane for washington in the year of 1982 hazrat khalifatul masih salis rahmatullah taala passed away signaling the end of third era of khilafat e ahmadiyat